Hello everybody, my name is Dratnos, and today we have Class Balance coming to Season 4, coming to retail. Something that I wasn't sure would continue, but it uh, looks like we are getting at least one more little balance patch. So uh, up first we have, I guess, just the news at the top. They say that they're going to make changes to over- and underperforming classes in various areas, although I don't see any overperformers getting hit here. Um, stuff like Shadow Priest in particular, I think a really big outlier in, in Mythic Plus. Uh, kind of at all levels of, of that kind of content that uh, probably should have been on this list. But uh, nonetheless, I think it's always good whenever there's a week where they buff a bunch of underperformers. So that's what's happening here. Uh, not every spec that, you know, should be on this list, of course, is here. But let's start off with the top. We have Prezevoker getting a 6% increase to all healing, not in PvP combat. This is a spec that is actually quite solid on the throughput side already. Um, it's definitely one you don't see very often, and you can always buff a spec by ramping up its throughput. That'll always help them, so uh, I think this is a good change. It is maybe a spec that... I don't know, like some of the some of the stuff around Prez that I think would make it better, like some of its like clunkiness uh, is stuff that you could, you could look at changing, but those are harder to do in hotfixes than just a throughput increase, so uh, this is probably... Probably a pretty good change. Definitely, uh, definitely one of the ones I'm pretty happy to see here. Rester Druid, we're getting a Moonfire mana cost reduction. It's actually 25% of the mana cost that it used to have, uh, which is really nice. You know, dotting up a bunch of stuff with Moonfire is a, a nice big damage thing you can do as Resto. And I've never liked mana intensiveness being associated with doing your damage rotation on healers uh, or doing, you know, decent damage on healers. I, I've always felt like doing DPS should be something you can do to kind of chill and regen mana, and then healing should be the thing that costs mana. Like, doing a lot of healing fast should be a mana-intensive uh, thing, because if you have a spot where doing damage and healing both cost mana, then you're just kind of sitting there, like, standing around if you want to regen mana. And I've always felt like DPSing was a more fun way. Like, it doesn't have to be regen mana by DPSing, but uh, at least having it not cost much mana to DPS is good. Uh, and so this... You know, this isn't a change in that broader philosophy. It still costs you mana on all your healers to uh, to do damage to a greater or lesser extent, but this is definitely one of the biggest offenders of like, oh, I went into a pull, I cast five Moonfires, and that cost me 7% of my mana bar. That That's a, a large amount, uh, I guess 6% of your mana bar. That's a large amount of investment in something that will now be effectively, you know, free. It's going to be out regen very easily by your passive mana regen. So I like that for Rest of Druid. Um, this is a buff to a good spec, which is always... Like, it's a good buff to the spec. I think this is this is nice, this is quality of life, this is a good change. It does land on a spec that is already dominant in high M+, uh, and in medium M+, as well. Rest of Druid, extremely good spec there. So that is maybe a downside of, of doing this particular buff, although realistically this isn't the kind of buff. Like, mana uh, running out is, is not something that is usually a problem for the, the best players, right? That's often uh, more of a problem in the kind of mid-range, newer healers type situation. So um, I think this is probably still a good change. Like, I wouldn't remove this from the patch notes, but uh, it is unfortunate that it is, you know, one of a very small amount of buffs in this build, and it's, it's landing on a spec that is dominant. Hunter, Serve Hunter. So Serve is finally getting the uh, four set buff that they needed so that you'd actually equip the new four set instead of keeping on the old four set, which uh, is good. The focus cost reduction is being doubled and the damage bonus is being mm, plus 60% or whatever, plus 55% or something, plus 60%, I don't know, something in that range. Um, I guess a little more than, I don't know. It's being increased from 50 to 80%. So Surf Hunters, I think, now will be actually putting on their new 4-set in most cases, and uh, that will be good, and we like that. There are two specs, as far as I know, that are kind of still doing two-piece, two-piece, and that's Blood Death Knight uh, in some cases, and Prop Paladin in most cases. So I would hope to see changes along these lines for those specs as well uh, at some point in the future, but... Surf Hunter, you know, as a DPS spec in particular, is generally is is one of the, it was one of the more egregious ones to still be wearing old. It wasn't even two piece, two piece. It was old four piece. Um, so you'd be sitting there with way less stam because you are wearing this, and uh, this is definitely very welcome change. Holy Paladin, Word of Glory, fifteen percent increased healing. Light of Dawn, twenty percent increased healing. So these are large numbers, although they are to just these th this side of the kit, right? Um, which is, you know, a lot of the kit. So 
this is nice. This is a nice change for Holy Paladin. The spec was extremely left by the wayside this season uh, and last season in M+, plus as well. So uh, it's nice to see it get buffed. I don't know if this is enough to make it exciting or interesting for, you know, Holy Paladin mains that are now Rest of Druid refugees. I don't know if this will, this will be enough to tempt them to come back in any big numbers or anything like that. But uh, it's definitely one of the specs that I'm happy to see on a list of specs being buffed, right? Um, and I'm def I don't have enough expertise to really say whether this is, you know, medium, small, or big to the chances of actually playing Holy Paladin feeling good again. Shaman, Brimming with Life, now increases max health by 10%, was 8, so a little bit of a, a buff there. And then we have some enhanced specific buffs, which is buffs to Chain Lightning, Flame Shock, Frost Shock, Fire Nova, Crash Lightning uh, by 10%. And Primordial Wave's additional bolts now deal 175% of normal damage, was 150%. So this is an AoE buff to Enhance. Enhance, uh, already quite a strong single target spec. Uh, already a spec that, of course, is extremely valuable in Raid due to Wind Fury Totem, but certainly a spec that did not see very much play in M+. Like, the DPS Shamans were rare already, and they were mostly playing Ellie, which has also got its own share of problems, uh, but at least you could do some decent AoE on it. And it looks like they're trying to bring up that Enhance AoE uh, to be a little bit more competitive and exciting with some pretty large buffs to a lot of the... Like, this is a lot of the AoE damage in the kit, so... I like that as well. And finally, Warlock is getting some mana cost reductions. Uh, I think this is good. Uh, you should never run out of mana doing stuff that is normal. Uh, I don't know if that was happening to Warlocks, but Gateway costing 20% of mana was a lot. That's a lot. Do you ever have to like replace a Gateway? Uh, fear costing less. I don't know. I mean, the, these spells have mana cost so that you can't spam them, right? Um, in particular, we see stuff like Spell Steal for Mage being something where it's very much like, I have a restrictive mana cost, so you can't spam me. Uh, but I don't know if Fear needs to be like that. Like, spamming Fear a couple of times, casting Fear a couple of times, I think should be something that you can do without it costing too much. The big issue is also whenever there's a DPS spec that has mana costs on their core rotation, and then when they get enough haste, they're actually mana negative instead of mana positive. Uh, I don't know if that was happening to Warlock. I know that's happened to, like, Fire Mage several times over the past few years. Uh, then we have a bunch of PvP changes. I'm not going to read through these for uh, this video, but it's worth noting that this is a much wider set of changes than the PvE changes. Actually, not much wider, but there are more changes coming to PvP uh, than for PvE, which is good. I know there was a lot of... Uh, a lot of changes that were needed in pvp and a lot of pvpers have been uh been complaining about various things i know there's looks like there's finally some havoc dh nerfs as well for those pvpers so uh i'll put a link in the description if you want to go look through all these changes yourself you want to go see what those are but this channel very much i i, I have basically left the pvp side of things to others because i really don't pvp very much and uh, i don't I don't feel like I could add much more than just reading these notes out, which I, some people in the comments recently have been saying like, oh, I, I like it that you read out these patch notes so that I can, you know, hear them and, and digest them while I'm doing my job as a forklift operator. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's sweet. But uh, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not going to do the PvP one. So if you're a PvP forklift operator, you're going to have to find somebody else to, to read those out for you. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of these changes down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.